Okay, so now we're back, and uh, basically I want to go into vectorization tools. And what's a vectorization tool, number one? Uh, you would use the vectorization tool if you get something from a scanner or something that is generated from a scanner. And uh, once you've taken the scanned image and transferred it into Rhinestone Works, uh, you would then take the image that was generated from the scanner and generate a line uh, or vector path that follows around the edge of the artwork that you just scanned in. You have to use a scanner. Uh, you don't have to use a scanner. Um, you can vectorize what images? Um, you can, the, the tool is really used to vectorize uh, what we call raster images, which are typically files like TIFF, PCX, JPEG, uh, uh, GIF. Those are the typical. Bitmap one? Uh, bitmap is another uh, file format that can be, uh, you know, basically imported into the program, and then you would vectorize it using the scanning vectorization tools in Rhinestone Works. Okay. So do you have any artwork saved here where you can use? So you just go like under your folder where you keep your customer folder files, whatever. Yep. Where you email, when somebody emails you a TIFF, and here you have a Cortex TIFF, right? Yeah. This file is called Cortex.tiff, and I've set the files of type in my import window to TIFF. Zoom in to like the word computer. 
computer. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. To the word T or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in on the T. No, so that's what I have to fix, right? Correct. So this is basically point to node to fix it. Yes. Can you zoom into that and, and walk me through a quick fix of this? Okay, so first thing i got to do is, you notice when I move my cursor over the vector artwork, it changes to the cross. So I can Now it tells me I can select it. Now, one important point is that there's a lot of different elements that were or vector, um, vector objects that were created when we traced that image. And what happens with the, our software is that it creates it and saves it as a group. Now, if I want to edit individual elements, say I want to work on this T, because it's, um, it's a group, it's thinking that I want to edit all the parts. Now, in this particular case, I just want to edit this one T, so I have to ungroup the objects. Alt-G was the shortcut. I'm going to ungroup, yep. And then if I want to just 